Hello and welcome back to Prince Blaze Gaming. Last time we were taking on Raditz, and this time we're gonna take on Nappa. Let's get into it. So, the Nappa battle. Really not much to say about this one. It's kind of an easy one. Uh, <laughs> as he punches me in the face. Um, uh, I did take a break, so I gotta get used to controls again. But uh, for the most part, we're just gonna beat him and then go to the next battle as all else is gonna ensue. But uh, yeah, Napoleon's really not even that hard, even on normal. I can kick his butt pretty easily. Let's see if I can go Kaioken real quick. I gotta remember what button it is. Pull oh, back up. I got back. When he's in my face, I can't really do anything. Aww. Uh, can I do it? I can! Okay. I did Kaioken. It just boosts your strength, I think. I don't think he's gonna help him. I do like the way Vegeta is styled, though. He. I think considering he's one of the main characters, they did really well with him. And some of the other ones you can kind of tell like where they didn't really uh, care much, but this is awesome. Goodbye. Kaboom! I just like shot him with an energy blast from his chest. It's like, it's like his pre-Final Flash, Final Flash. So yeah, we got Nappa. But uh, yeah. Just gonna keep going on, moving on. Love this game. Had <laughs> so much fun playing it. It just it brings back so many memories. Um, I really didn't have any memories with like that battle, particularly with Nappa or Vegeta. They're just kind of normal ones, but lucky you are, the super elite warrior like myself. Since I didn't let you fight a chance. He's very arrogant in his own ways, but I think that's what makes me love Vegeta. I don't expect a fair fight. It doesn't seem like your style. Why would we give you a fair fight? <laughs> there. I've let you speak your mind. Now let's begin, shall we? Vegeta is really my favorite. I don't know. You gotta love Goku, but Vegeta is kind of his own person, you know, in his own right. He's great, but. I'm gonna kick it into this next battle. We have the continuous Kamehameha. Uh, I can try to do that one. I do not remember what that one is, but uh, we have the Kai or the like, Kaioken and all that. I'm just gonna call it Kaioken, even though it's Tinkai Fist or whatever you call it. So uh, yeah, these battles aren't too hard to talk and battle with because they're normal. But so I might go through another playthrough and do them on hard, just as like a quick thing. I might just show the battles instead of, like, the storyline since I already did that. Oh, I almost did it. Okay. Over speed. Okay. There we go. Continuous Kamehameha. Is that just the... Oh, okay. It says Kamehameha, but it just does the little blasts. It's kind of like, if you look at it, like, there is a specific set of each, uh, skills. So there's the blast, which is the Kamehameha. There's the grip. There's the Zangu fist, which is a lot of punching. And then there's the uh, continuous Kamehameha, where they use the key blasts, which... Now he's gonna go into the 8 form, I believe? He just wants to beat me, even though he can. I don't know what he just did there. Emma. That monkey tail ain't just for show. I never understood why he never grabbed his tail either. Like, that's Vegeta's, like, one weak spot. And they really didn't go into the anime either. Or they didn't go into what, uh... Talking about it. Is that, uh, the Saiyans transform into apes when they see the moon. Full moon. Um, which is destroyed at this point. But you don't figure that out. Unless you're watching the anime, which, as I've said before, you need to. If you haven't watched the anime, go watch that. But uh, yeah, I don't know really what to say. <coughs> Excuse me, I had a coffin fit there. <laughs> I don't know if we actually have to fight the ape. 
Yeah, we're just gonna get like a... Yeah, we just get a cutscene. We don't actually have to fight him. I think we have to fight him as Gohan. Or Krillin, I'm not sure. We'll see. So... No! <laughs> not my bones! They're made of squeaky toys! <laughs> Finally, Gohan, jeez. Oh, how nice. Did you come to say goodbye to your father, Sonny? Well, take a good look. Cause it'll be the last one you'll ever get. This is always funny. Nice job. Your pathetic little friends won't catch me off guard, Pekarov. This is another reason why I love Vegeta, though. It's freaking like four on one, and he's still like beating them until that point. <laughs> now he's like really weak. Gohan's true power. Yep, we're gonna have to battle Master Vegeta. Vegeta, we're gonna have to battle Vegeta, go on. Blah, 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 blah. So, you're starting to make me very angry. You want to play with me? me? Let's play, boy. boy. Are, Are you ready? ready? Now we're go on. Like I said before, we kind of have the same. Oh, he's got the Maseko. Maseko, ha. Huh? Uh, the continuous Kai Blast wave is the continuous Kamehameha, the same thing. Um. Yep, so we're good. As of right now, Gohan's not that powerful, so we're just doing basic stuff, but we both have yellow energy. I think that's just because we're both exhausted. This battle, I remember, is a little harder, just because you're not as strong as Gohan, so I might have to focus just a little bit more on this one. But for the most part, I can. I think I can beat Vegeta. Oh, that was not bad. That was not good. Oh! It's really hard to see like when you hit him or not. Because if they block, you are just hitting nothing. Oh, come on. Let me... There we go. We did it. And I still have yellow, actually. That wasn't too hard. So, now we got more cutscenes, and... Yeah, I'll just let it play. <laughs> nice eyebrow drawing, though. Use your hands, Gohan. Oh, he's so dead. Explosion. Oh, we actually got Vegeta. Okay. I like Vegeta. I haven't said that before. <laughs> he also got obliterated by that spirit bomb. But with the little energy he has left, Vegeta summons his spaceship, hoping to make a hasty retreat. His plan, escape Earth, and live to fight another day. Oh, oh Krillin ain't having that. Time, I'll destroy them all. You're not going anywhere, Vegeta. I'll stop you. Let her go. It's over, you fool. It's not over yet. No. Wait. Krillin, stop! Please, let Vegeta go. Look, I know this probably sounds crazy, but I want to challenge him again one day. Apparently we have telepathic powers. To prove it to myself that I can beat him. So please, just let him go. Please! Consider yourself lucky this time, but I will be back to destroy you and all of your friends. <laughs> Shaking is a really good, uh... <laughs> uh, add on to the exhaustion. There's that little trembling. You two meet again. Promise me you won't hold back. You've got to use all your power so that we can be done with him once and for all. Don't worry. I will, Krillin. Goku is so exhausted, so defeated, that he has to talk with his mind. Oh, this was always cool, like. Hey, everyone. Goku here. <laughs> Heard that there's another set of Dragon Balls on a planet called Namek. We're going to try to use them to wish our dead friends back to life. Could you a little preview of what's going on? on. 
All of you, stay out of my way! <laughs> Those dragon balls are as good as mine. Mm, I, I wonder who that is. Though. Next on Dragon Ball Z, let's go to Namek. See you there. Next time, we'll go to Namek. Hooray! And we're saving. I don't know if I have to jump back into the menu. Join the main menu? Sure. Because that's where I'm going to cut the episode, so... Thank you all for watching. This is Prince Blaze Gaming. Signing out. Game on.